The SAF system is the first endodontic system to integrate shaping of the root canal complex with simultaneous irrigation and agitation requires proper maintenance to attain good function. The following guidelines will help you to achieve this task. Standard means of infection control should be kept when using the SAF system as in all endodontic equipment. The self-adjusting files are supplied in non-sterile blister packages and should be autoclaved prior to use. Use a calibrated autoclave at a temperature of 134 degrees Celsius or 273 degrees Fahrenheit between 4 and 10 minutes. Using a higher temperature setting may result in damage to the plastic shank of the SAF. Avoid using disinfection reagents as some may cause deformation of the SAF's plastic parts. Make sure to autoclave only parts of the endodontic motor that are explicitly intended for sterilization, as defined in the instructions for use, such as the handpiece head and adapter. Refrain from autoclaving parts that should only be disinfected, such as the mica motor or the cable. Disinfection by a mild detergent or alcohol wipes is recommended for all parts that are not autoclavable or disposable and are not inserted into the patient's mouth. Do so carefully to avoid unnecessary scratches or damage to the plastic surfaces. As sodium hypochlorite is a potent corrosive, two steps are required to prevent cumulative corrosion damage. The first step to be carried after each use is to lightly rinse the RDT3 head and adapter under hot water, wipe and lubricate them. Lubricate the RDT3 head immediately after the treatment, while it is still connected to its adapter. Feed the oil spray nozzle to the adapter, ensure connection in the correct direction, as shown in this video, and spray shortly until clear oil comes out of the aperture of the handpiece head. The first sign of improper maintenance of the RDT3 head is usually that the file vibrates but does not rotate due to sedimentation of sodium hypochlorite salts. Immersing the RDT3 handpiece head in hot water for a couple of minutes should dissolve the crystallized sodium hypochlorite, and when followed by lubrication, this should usually be able to fix this issue. However, do not neglect the need for regular maintenance, and if this advice doesn't help, make sure to send over the head for repair by an authorized technician. The second step to avoid corrosion damage is proper maintenance of the irrigation system. Fill and empty the irrigation bottle away from the endodontic motor on a level work surface next to a sink. Avoid spillage of irrigation fluids when filling or emptying the bottle. If spillage occurs, wipe immediately. Make sure no external residue is left on the bottle before placing it in its receptacle. Endodontic irrigants may form crystals and clog the tubes. To prevent this, Replace the irrigant with clean water and run the pump on maximum output at the end of each working day using the rinse button for at least 30 seconds. Pumping air into the irrigation line in order to drain the excess water after the flushing is also advised. The irrigation bottle should be cleaned periodically. Disconnect the irrigation line tubes from the device at the end of each working day. Handle all parts of the system with care. Avoid dropping any part of the device on hard surfaces. Do not pull any of the connectors too forcefully or sharply bend any of the cords. Do not lubricate the micromotor or sterilize it by any means, including an autoclave or ultrasonic cleaner. Do not immerse any of the electrical parts in water or other liquids do not disassemble the device under any circumstances, with the one exception of replacing the battery if necessary after prolonged use, and make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions. If the device is damaged or malfunctioning, consult with your supplier and send the device or the malfunctioning part to an authorized technician. Detailed information regarding maintenance can be found in the instructions for use for the device and the SAF clinical guidelines manual.